Welcome to Xamarin Form Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to authenticate the user using Gmail. Google already authenticate the user while they registered the account inside the Google. So we don't need to authenticate the user. We just uh, here we are just going to fetch the user details when user click on the any of the Gmail account inside their phone. Okay, so you can notice that screen here. When I am clicking on this Gmail with login with Gmail button, it will open a pop up like this. And when user click any of the Gmail account here, it will Gmail will provide us few details like user full name, email ID and the URI. Okay. So after clicking on this logout button, it will log out from the Gmail library and uh, it will um, you can notice that uh, I remove my details here and after when click on this uh, login with gmail button again it will open the pop-up and when i am selecting on the another account it will give us the account details so how to use this authentic gmail authentication part inside our xamarin form android project so let's start okay so before creating the project we have to create a google api inside our account okay so go to the firebase.google.com and go to the console here so after going to the console we have to create a project here so i'm going to add a project name here so i'm going to add a project name as a jammerin gmail auth okay and click on continue and again click on continue and i'm going to select my default firebase account and click on create project it will generate our project okay click on continue so after creating the project here we are going to click on the android option here and we have to pass the package name here so how to get the package name here so going to the project and right click on the android project and click on properties and here you can find the package name here okay so i'm going to co copy this package name here okay okay so i paste the package name here and um, any of the nickname gmail auth and click on the register app Okay, so here I'm not going to download the Google service.json file here, configuration file here. I'm going to click on the next and again click on the next and continue to the console. Okay, so now we have to do one thing. So we have to go to, go to the authentication menu and inside this authentication, click on the get started here. Okay, so here we have to choose the google here so basically by default the google authentication is disabled here so i am clicking on this icon and enable it okay so uh, i am not changing my project name here um, the project name is by default this and um, i am going to select my email address here okay and now save it okay so i already saved my i already enabled the google authentication here so again uh, edit on the configuration and click on the project settings here okay so we have to configure our android project here so basically inside the configuration your application options so um, here is my app id and the nickname and the package name is here and we have to add a fingerprint here so how to generate the fingerprint remember that when we are developing our application at that point we use the debug fingerprint when we publish our application to the production at that point we we will use the public um, production fingerprint so now we are going to use the debug fingerprint here so click on the add fingerprint here and we have to paste the sha1 fingerprint here so how to create the sha1 fingerprint so go to your xamarin visual studio click on the tools click on the options here and i'm clicking on the android settings and copy this jdk path so i'm going to copy this jdk path and just open this 
JDK. Okay, and remember that after going to the JDK path, you can find under the Microsoft Dist Open JDK and go to the Wind folder and you can find the key tool.exe here. Okay, so now I'm going to select on this URL box and type here CMD. So I'm going to open the command form is following this path. So now we have to write a command for generating the SHA fingerprint. So how to use the fingerprint? So here is the command that is useful for generating the SHA key. Okay, so basically we have to pass, we have to change the path here. So how to change this path here? So um, how to find this debug.keystore? Okay, so just uh, go to the C drive and select click on the users and click on the your computer name folder here and go to the app data go to the local go to the xamarin mono for android and here is my debug.keystore file okay so we have to use this path along with this debug.keystore name so i am going to change this name here pasting this my path and slash debug dot key store okay so now we don't need to change anything because the alias for for debug is android debug key and the store pass is android and the key pass is android for the debug key dot key store remember that for production it will be the different okay so i will explain you later so copy this key tool here and paste it here and click on enter okay you will give a SHA key here so we are, we are going to copy this SHA key here and go to the firebase console and click on the certificate fingerprint and click on save okay so after saving this SHA fingerprint here we are going to download this google service.json file here so after downloading this google service.json file here copy this from this json file from the following path and um, paste it to the android project so i already pasted the google service.json folder file here okay so now you have to do one thing so right click on the google service.json json click on the properties and go to the build action action and select the build action as a google service.json if you can't find this google service.json option here you just rebuild your project and you can notice that and then you can find the google service.json option here okay so that's it now we have to install a library for achieving the gmail authentication so right click on the android project click on manage NuGet package for solution and search for xamarin dot google play service dot auth okay so you have to install this library here so you have to install it so i already installed this package here i am so i already installed the latest version of this uh, package to my android project so you have to install this and remember that when you are going to create your xamarin project so you must have to install the latest xamarin version because it will be useful for because you can uh, you can get the you will get the latest file here okay so after installing of the all of this library uh, you we are going to implement our code here okay so first of all we need to do one thing inside the android app we already have a google manager.cs class file so i already i already provide um, this google manager file to my source code okay so you use this google manager dot class this class will be responsible for login and logout and inside this class all the login and logout flow code is written here okay so i'm not going to explain all of these things basically this is the login functions for login from the gmail okay and the logout function will be responsible for logout from the gmail sign in option okay so uh, this code is responsible for handling the login and logout logic okay so uh, just uh, use this google manager.cs file here inside the android project and remember that uh, inside the main activity also you have to use this on activity result method uh, override method and this activity result is um, we are passing the request code as a one and we are using the google 
play pop-up intent okay so you have to use this on activity result because after selecting the account from the pop-up it will handle it will give us the details of google manager google user details okay so this code you have to write this code inside the main activity file so now we have to go to the pcl project so i'm going to the pcl project and uh, i'm going to create a login page here so be, uh, inside this login page i already have a name label email label and the image for showing the profile image and a button for login with gmail and a logout button okay so inside my code so uh, i already have a interface so uh, for uh, calling this uh, google manager login logout functions so uh, go to the models i already created a google user class and inside this google user class i already created three property for name email and picture okay so basically this class is responsible for getting the user details okay so uh, i already created a interface for i google manager and this interface have two methods one is login and logout okay so the login methods contains a single parameter for on login complete action okay so uh, it, it's not too much things just simple very simple so uh, we can call we already know that uh, how to call the platform specific functions using the dependency service so inside the login page backend backend file so i or inside my constructor i already created a google manager instance using the dependency service dot get dot i google manager okay so using this google manager interface we already have two method for login and logout so um in my login clicked event i already used google manager dot login event and when the login will complete it on login completed action will be fired and it will provide us the details if the authentication is successfully then it will give give us the user details otherwise it will show the error okay and if a user click on the logout button we will use the logout method for logout from the application and then um, after clicking on the logout clicked even you know, we are going to log out and we are um, simply erasing the details here okay so first of all when a user open this application we are checking the user is logged in or not so at that point we are simply using this login method here so first of all when user open their application it will check the user is logged in or not if not logged in then it will show the blank data if it's logged in then it will show the data here okay so uh, this is the simple things we have to implement for using the gmail authentication here okay so this is for the debugging part so when you have to when you are going to publish this application for production at that point the debug key stored fingerprint will not work so at that point we have to use the release key store so remember that in our previous lecture in my create create a generate apk videos you can find how to create the key store for uh, publish our application at at that point we already created the key store here so how to find the key store path so you have to go to the user uh, c drive and uh, again user and your computer username folder app data local xamarin mono for android and inside this key store folder you will file uh, you will find the folder of your particular key store name okay so suppose in this application i am not going to create any key store here so that is the reason i am not finding any of the key store here so suppose this is my key store okay so you have to use this key store here and remember that the key store name is this okay so i'm not i'm not just showing you with the sample key store here but um, you have to select your own key store here so now go to the key store command and paste the and change the url here okay and the uh, instead of using the debug key store use the your key store file name okay 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 and you have to change the alias also this alias and you have to change the store password again and also you have to change the key pass so when you are going to generate the key store you have to pass this uh, you have to create this uh, alias and store pass and key pass okay so after 
using all of the products and details again copy this and also paste it here and also it will generate a SHA, SHA key for here for production now copy this SHA key for production here and again add this fingerprint to the production okay and save it so it simply work for the production okay so it's very simple to create the SHA key for here Okay, so that is uh, that is for the Gmail authentication and this is the simple process you can authenticate the user using Gmail. So if you have any query you can comment us, comment below and thank you for watching. Have a great day.